Hey, back for another episode of our four job fiesta run. It's classic jobs and I'm so forgetting. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't equipped this yet. <laughs> That could help. that are here because they're just so darn valuable. These guys can have elixirs stolen from them, or, you know. We need to have our thief alive to actually do the stealing. Totally forgot to do something before we start on this whole silly journey. Basically, the whole process here is just telling these guys to get treasure, so it's not really... It's not as much of a time crunch as you might expect it to be. And I didn't need to forget that one. I totally forgot that one has a ribbon in it, which I can't actually use. She lives and get away. That might not work out as well as I wanted it to. I want to steal from him first. Oh well. Any extras I get here are great because elixirs are just really darn valuable healing items under the circumstances. 
Wow, he's just really mad. Ability steal acquired. My thief can now steal. Th oh wait. And I just mostly went to loot. That's not good. Does he counter every individual attack with that? Probably. Oh, come on. did it again. I, I made that mistake in an earlier take. And yeah, I kind of had to restart. Not I have all these Phoenix fans. I don't think I have enough. I'm not sure if I have enough time to run to the basement. Find out. Alright. Since we don't have any white mages, we don't want to we don't need to pick up a Suna here. So... Please don't kill her. I need her to run away from this stupid crap. There we go. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh good, I got that one fast enough. A little further. Ah, this is the real deal. Okay.
You know, I actually don't remember. I actually don't know off the top of my head if I actually got out of that. I did. So wait, I killed that sergeant without him transforming into the boss. Okay. That works. Yeah, he's supposed to transform into a special enemy, and, um, he didn't. So, yay for us. New fire shard. The fire shards for Beastmaster, Geomancer, and Ninja. Nice. I won't be using any of them, but it's nice to have them. Well, we can't go back to the castle, because there's kind of not a castle there anymore. So... We got a few elixirs. Nine elixirs. That's helpful, but not quite enough to get us by anything. Grander scheme of things. Okay, that should be fine for now. Go ahead and stay at the inn here. Which type of rod do I have? Three, three, four. I think I have at least one of each of those. Maybe I can sell off a lot of these items I can't use. Just loop around here in a circle. Specific characters can actually even use it. go. Now that the way's open, we can go to that library that was mentioned else earlier. Well, if you talk to people. Okay, so there's a library further down in this area, and that's our next location. Two. I'm terrible at doing this sort of thing. So, uh, video and commentary stuff, whatever. Wow. That thing's pretty tough. Probably shouldn't mess with it. Grandson is here. 
Yeah, one of the scholars in the castle tells us that Sid looked through books in this area to figure out how to make the fire-powered ship. You know, healing... Healing bucket? It's the Library of Ancients. We should be reading right now. Quite important from these pages. Let's see what this book says. Huh? Apparently, we're too dumb to read it. Uh. A long time ago, Ifrit would burn the possessed books for us. I only want to burn the books that are possessed, but I don't know which ones those are. Well, let's take a look at. Well, there you go. I assume that this is one of the possessed books. There you go. And we used fire magic to burn it, which is nifty. Traveler's Journal. Strange staff to a man from Tycoon. Blue Mage's Journey. So, there will be some kind of staff in Tycoon. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Or not. I mean, it might not actually be all that important. Time to descend into the basement. And deal with the puzzle of all these bookshelves. Oh, ah, there we go. Turns out we can walk through the holes. Which I already knew. I was just, you know... There we go. There's hidden points where you have to touch on them, that you have to reach on the map to cause the bookshelves to move so that you can actually get through them. I'm sure we'll probably someone we used up earlier. Yeah, these demon books have multiple page type demons that pop out of them and you do have to take out all of them. Each one has their own technical weaknesses, but that's rarely of that much significance. Huh. There's something up here. Gee, it's a book all by itself. I'm sure that's not dangerous in any way, shape, or form. Oh, it's Ifrit. Well, we already talked to it, even though we don't need to summon. We don't need him for summoning, so. Guess we're stuck fighting him. Three Blizzards will take care of us at this point. Well, I guess we can summon Ifrit now. Eh, I'm guessing that won't really matter. Well, since we're already down in the basement, I don't want to go all the way back up to Survivor, so... I had some healing spells. <clears throat> Bookshelf! No one shall pass! Oh! Huh. 
Huh, I guess we did have to fight Ifrit. I say, knowing full well that we had to fight Ifrit. <laughs> that replaces the one we just used. That's nice. I don't really like fighting those guys. They're annoying. That one moved out of the way quite nicely for us. Oh, and that one was a hidden switch. Uh-oh. Another hidden switch. This one's not as friendly. Let's see if regular fire can do it. It did turn out to be enough. Alright. Is there anything in? Oh! Save point. Very nice. Do we stop now? Nah, we're still very early into this video, relatively, so... Let's do the next boss. Did it? Toes. I have a bad feeling about this place. Ah! Being attacked by books. Also, since I have a thief in the party, I actually get to avoid the guaranteed surprise from this encounter. Wow. Just destroyed him. It's gonna be one of those fights, isn't it? Oh no, she's slowed. Eh, that's fine. Oh no. Level halved. Monks just aren't doing anything this way, are they? Just used it. Okay. I don't think that's really gonna be much of an issue, but... You know what? Be gone. <laughs> the end of it only for me. The master seal will be blown wide open. Ooh, how ominous. Tiny child. Huh. Don't tell me you were engrossed in a book the whole time. What whole time? They're not laughing? This this seems like exactly the type of situation where they should all do their little laughing animation. Oh well. Kinda sad that his sprite doesn't have glasses or something. It, it'd be kinda cute. A cute sprite anyway though. So this is Mid, Sid's grandson. I don't think Sid ever really has a grand... wait. I think Sid has children in some... children or descendants in some of the other games in the series, but I don't think he actually has a grandson named Mid anymore anywhere else, which is unfortunate actually. Mid's kind of a neat character little bookish kid it's super smart you know super driven cool kid I like this kid from the most amazing book check it out I bet with this we could repower the fire-powered ship well that would be handy it'd give us a way to actually go around places I gotta tell grandpa Sid about it right away Sid? Oh, you know of him? He's my grandfather. You just said grandpa, but okay. Grandpa's so awesome. Unstoppable. He never gives up until he's found the solution. Wait, wait. Sorry to tell you this, kid, but uh, your grandfather's having a bit of an identity crisis after dooming the planet. It's, a, it's this whole thing.
mean, he blames himself for it, even though he's literally only one third of the problem at most. It's not really him that did it. This guy, this tree somewhere else that's really responsible, but we'll worry about that later. So Sid just booked it, sorry, Mid just booked it across the plains all the way up to the firepower, all the way up to the town that we just came from. That tiny child is some kind of beast because he just, he blew through this desert, he blew through any random encounter he may have possibly come across. I mean, they don't seem that bad to me now, but you can totally get to this place with these guys being really hard to kill. And he just ran all this way faster than I could. Oh yeah, I forgot to put it in. Oh, well. Let's see. Actually, I don't know which one I would need next. Did we get any money? We didn't really get much money from that trip. Or experience, for that matter. We kind of got in and got out. Regardless, I think it's probably best to invest it all in potions at this point. I do mean all of it in potions. We still have enough left over for stay at the inn afterward, but I think we're going to do that later. Sid's grandson, Mid, is off to the Library of Ancients. Uh... Not anymore, he ain't. Sid... Mid isn't here? Uh-oh, Mid must have gotten eaten by monsters on the way back. Grandma! Even now, we can still hear the voice of his ghost. Nah, he's, he's here. Ineffectual nerd punching. It's the exact kind of punching I do. You never give up. You always told me not to be afraid of failing. That if you messed up, you just had to start over and try again. What happened to that? Of course I am. <laughs> Alright. I guess we got Sid back to normal, I guess, or something. Looks like we'll have to go look for the Earth Crystal. Shouldn't we all kind of know where the Earth Crystal is? I mean, didn't Sid build the tech for, like, amplifying power for all the crystals? Like, wh wh where's... What is up with the Earth Crystal that he wouldn't have... Never mind, it's not important. Thank goodness he didn't accidentally bring one of the demon possessed books. That would have been a whole. Like, the, I would have had to pay for the repairs to the pub, that just would have been a whole thing. Do we want to go back and get Shiva? I mean, we don't need to. Oh, 
Hello. That kid just launched four people a distance greater than his own height, seemingly. Yeah, I'd say so. So, I guess we'll just uh, hang out in the, in the captain's lounge. find out a little bit about Gallop. It's like I can almost remember. Hmm. Grandpa! I'm glad he didn't accidentally remember her earlier, or he might have fallen to the siren's charm. But yep, that's Krill. Gallif's granddaughter. Pretty good reason to be fighting to save the planet, I guess, all things considered. Here she is punching him. Punch, 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 punch. Well, in her case, we don't have enough context for that to be anything other than just her being mean, because that's just how the family works. I don't know. Do you remember something? I'm not from this world. I worked here through a meteorite from another world because the evil weed sealed 30 years ago was beginning to reawaken, so I came to stop it. Big, bad evil too. The Dark Warlock X-Death. Still a pretty good villain name, I would say, overall. I guess we've met some of the former warriors of light under the circumstances. This death is sealed in a location with four meteorites. Hmm. So if all four crystals are destroyed, then the seal will be broken as well. Can't allow X Death to be reborn, and uh, he's uh, he's just gonna take a bit of a nap on the floor. It's a very comfortable floor, as we can see from the fact that Mid and Sid are also taking a nap on the floor. <laughs> We are so awesome. The boat that can sail without wind. So we can use this ship to find the Earth Crystal. Awesome. We finally have a ship that might last more than 10 minutes. Like, I think it was actually like 20 minutes, but whatever. Point is, we have a boat now. And we're off. These little water wheels to move. Oh, one other thing. We can now start having random encounters at sea. Oh boy! Hmm, I 
wonder if the Thunder and MNA will actually be able to be damaged by lightning. Nope. That's a bit of an unusual part for one of these kind of games, but Explosive might work. Okay, Blizzard seems functional. And once again, Lena is unconscious. Good job. Whatever, we'll make a pit stop here and heal up. Ta-da! Actually, let's see if they found any information, since we don't really know exactly where we're going next. Think about the Earth Crystal. Hmm. This book says something about a crescent-shaped island. Well, I guess we gotta figure out where that is. So the crescent-shaped island is in the southeast. Well, in that case, we'll go on our merry way there next time. Thanks for watching.